guys, it's Megan, and today I am going to talk to you about my favorite products from Sephora. My friend and subscriber Gwen requested for me to do a Sephora VIB sale recommendations video, and the Sephora sale for VIB Rouge starts on November 3rd, which you're probably watching this on November 3rd because I'm filming this on November 1st. And then, so Rouge, you get 20% off from the 3rd to the 6th and then from the 10th to the 15th. So I don't know why they don't just do like from the 3rd to the 15th, but there's like a little gap in between there. VIB, which is what I am, we get 20% off from November 10th to November 15th, and then Beauty Insiders get 15% off from the 10th to the 15th as well. So the VIB code is 24VIB, and you probably got one of these little cards in the mail or an email with this information. So the card is just so you can use it in stores, but everyone has the same code for online. So I am also going to do a sequel to this video with my wish list or what's in my cart. And so I'm gonna go through everything I have in there with you guys, talk through it, probably talk myself out of a lot of things because I'm trying to be on a really, really strict no buy until Black Friday. But certain things, it's definitely worth it to get 20% off, especially gifts for Christmas. So we'll talk about that in my next video. But now I'm going to share with you all of my favorite stuff like this. When I was picking it out, I was like, oh my god, like these are my favorite things of every category. Like it wasn't hard to pick out stuff at all. So I have skincare, hair care, body care, fragrance, brushes, and makeup. So I'm going to start with makeup because I think that's what a lot of people are interested in. So I love eyeshadows. I love creamy, beautiful, shimmery eyeshadows. And my two favorite formulas are are the Burberry Glow Shadows and the NARS Dual Intensity Shadows. So I have two of each to show you guys. I have Burberry Shell, which is like a peachy champagne. Then I have Burberry Nude, which is like a taupey taupe yeah taupey taupe <laughs> that's how I would describe it it's a very taupey taupe then the two from NARS are Himalaya which I'm wearing right now and that's more of a brown so this is Himalaya and the middle one is Burberry nude and then the last one I have is Callisto from NARS and that's like a beautiful lilac silver. Oh my god, it's gorgeous. All of these are just so creamy and buttery when you put them on your lids. And I would say that the NARS have more of a sheen, like metallic sheen to them. But both formulas are so good. They're so effortless to put on. I just love these shadows for a one shadow look because when it goes into your crease it makes like an automatic shade like shading to your eyes just because when you blend out the shadow it removes some of the shimmer to it so it looks like more than one shadow on your eyes. It's amazing. I'm wearing NARS Himalaya right now and these are some of my absolute favorite shadows. I would definitely buy more if I needed more eyeshadow or if I found a color I really loved. One product that I have wanted for a long time is NARS Kari Dual Intensity. It's like a more of a warm tone, like pinky taupe color. It's very, very pretty. Um, so that might be something I eventually get, but these are amazing. Okay, something that I have loved for basically a year is this Tarte So Fine Liquid Liner. So it's just this super skinny pencil or pen and it has the smallest teeny tiniest brush that you've ever seen and it's actually a felt tip but it's never bent, it's never changed, it's still super super black and you can do super thin lines, 
super thick lines, not super thick, but you can make it thicker. It lasts on my eyes all day. It's so good. It's getting a little dry, obviously, because I've had it for like a year, but it's so nice. I really love it for because I do just a really thin line at my upper lash line, sometimes winging, winging it out. I'm having a t heart a hard time today help me so um I just need it for a thin line on my upper lash line so it's perfect for that because the size is just so small you can make really small little strokes and it's amazing I would definitely repurchase this okay that's everything for eyes for face I have blush bronzer and highlighter nothing in this video is gonna come as a surprise to you guys who watch my channel a lot because I show you guys what I love all the time, but I'm just rounding it all up for this one video. So my favorite bronzers are from Kevin Aquan. They're the Celestial Bronzing Veils. I have Tropical Days and Tropical Nights. I love the packaging. It's like a little press button with the ombre bronzers inside. This is Tropical Nights and this is Tropical Days. So I use the Tropical Nights as more of like a contouring and the Tropical Days as more of a bronzing but they're so creamy and so easy to blend. They're the perfect shades for fair skin. I know this won't work for all skin tones, but oh my gosh, they're so nice because there's a slight sheen to them. Really, really easy to use, not too dark for fair skin girls, and I don't have any other bronzers but these because they're my fave. Then for highlight, if I could only have one highlighter in the world, it would be Becca Moonstone. I love this to death. It's the perfect color for fair skin and it just blends in so perfectly but gives you that gorgeous effortless lip from within glow. It's everything I want a highlighter to be. It's creamy, it's blendable, it's not glittery. I don't like super, super like, oh my god, I'm blinded by looking at you highlighters. I like more of a soft, natural look, but still something that lifts my face and gives me that glow. This is it. This is the one. I love it. Then for blushes, NARS is one of my favorite blush brands and my number one favorite br blush from them is Deep Throat which is the perfect peachy pink. This is what I wear pretty much all summer long, spring and summer actually and I will probably need one within the next year because I'm almost out of this little sample size. But NARS Sin is a rediscovered favorite and a really perfect blush for this time of year, the fall and winter. It just is that gorgeous purpley with a little bit of a gold shift to it. It is so nice on the cheeks. I'm wearing it today and yeah, those are awesome. I definitely want to get more NARS blushes, but I don't need anything right now. For lips, I have two recommendations. I'm wearing NARS Rakugian Lip Pencil, which is my favorite lip product ever. That is the swatch. It's just amazing. I hate that you have to manually sharpen it. That's pretty annoying. Um, but it's a drier formula, but not like their matte pencils. Those are just too drying. I wouldn't buy any more of those to be honest, but this is one of the satin lip pencils. So it goes on pretty creamy, but then dries down more. So it really, really lasts. And as it wears off, it just gets prettier. It just looks so brightening to my face. It's a great color. I think on me, I think it really, really suits my complexion and my coloring. And I just can't get enough of this. I would w always and will always repurchase. And then this is a recommendation, but when I looked it up on Sephora today, it showed the product, but when you clicked on it, it said product not carried. So these are the YSL Tint in Oil lip glosses, and they're basically just a oil like you would put on your face or on your hair, but it has a a staining property to it. It's so weird. It's amazing actually. Um, I'm gonna put 
cherry my cherie right here so you can see how it stains I'll show you later this is the crazy applicator that just hugs your lips perfectly and this is undress me and it's all empty it's completely dried out I just put in my empties earlier this week but this is like a clear gloss basically I want to get more colors it's on my list of stuff to buy when I feel like I deserve it but I love these because they're slick and shiny super super glossy when you put them on and then with cherry my cherie it has that tint to it that lasts so well on my lips so even after all the glossiness fades away the tint is still there I absolutely love these I swear by them and if you can get them at Sephora still which I'm not sure since the website was pretty weird today I would definitely recommend this okay then I have two beauty tools the first is a brush it's by Sephora brand and they make some of the best brushes like if I had endless money I would buy all Sephora brand brushes because I think they're just that good this is the pro contour number 79 but I use this for highlighting it's like that perfect eggy shape that just gets right on my cheekbones it is good for contouring too I've used it for that before but I always use it for highlighter I just love it it's so soft and I I don't know you just feel like a professional using these brushes they're really really good and then I wasn't sure if I would recommend this because I've been loving my Real Techniques uh, sponges but this is a beauty blender br blusher blusher blender or something I don't know it's the one that they market for blush but I use this for under eye concealer and it is the perfect size it's better than the um, real technique smaller ones because those are just a little too small this is just the right size so I just put on my under eye concealer and then tap it out with this it's incredible I love it I will definitely repurchase when I need one but yeah I love that one okay moving on to let's do fragrance I have two all-time favorite perfumes that oh my god can't live without the first one is Prada candy I am all out except for like a little itty bitty drip it's the perfect Oh, warm, cozy, sexy, vanilla, sophisticated vanilla scent ever. It makes me so happy. It makes me feel so comforted when I smell this. This is the 2.7 fluid ounce, which is the largest bottle you can buy. And I would recommend buying it in a gift set. This year they have the 2.7 fluid ounce with a body lotion and a roller ball for just about the same price as the 2.7 fluid ounce. So... If I end up buying something for myself from the VIB sale, it might be that because it's such a good deal and then to get 25% or 20% off is amazing. So this can't live without it. I've been sparingly using this because I don't want to be completely without it, but just smelling the bottle is amazing to me. And then one of my favorite, like, mix it up date night or even during the day whatever it just makes me feel good all the time is Giorgio Armani C and I love the bottle it's so chic you can tell I've used a little more than half of this and oh god it just makes me feel good it makes me feel feminine and sophisticated but still really inviting it's still a very cozy scent and I just love this one every person is really different with fragrance but those are two of my absolute favorites then for a candle this one looks a little bit dingy but I got this last year this is the nest birchwood pine this is like their little tea light but they have bigger sizes this is my favorite I got a three pack last year from Nordstrom or Neiman Marcus and it had all their holiday scents this one's definitely my favorite if you like tree trimmings by um, Woodwick that was my all-time favorite candle but they don't make it anymore oh my god this just smells like Christmas to me 
it's warm, cozy, it doesn't smell like fire, it's not like smoky, but it smells like evergreen trees with coziness. Oh my god, I don't know how to describe it, it's just so good. Give it a sniff if you see it. Okay, my favorite body lotion of all time are the Josie Marin Whipped Argan Oils. This is just a small size that I got in a Christmas set last year. She always does sets of these pretty much all the time on QVC, but definitely during the holidays at Sephora. So you can get these smaller sizes, like a ton of different scents, but my favorite scent is Vanilla Apricot. And she has a set that's a large vanilla apricot with two other smaller um, little tubs of this. So that would be the way I would recommend going. But if you really like a variety of scents, that is another option that you could do. I did that last year, but ended up not really loving all the scents. But the formula is where it's at. It's natural. It's creamy, but light. It's not really heavy or sticky. They're just really, really great body moisturizers. They're really expensive, so I don't use them on my whole body. I mostly just use them on my upper body and then use something cheaper on my legs. But these are my favorite. I will always try to have them if I can afford it. Okay, one thing that I never want to be without, and this is... This was a purchase that I was like nervous to make because it was expensive, but it has proved well, well worth it and I might buy a second one. So this is the Illuminage sleeping mask. So it's marketed as like anti-aging, help prevent wrinkles. We have technology in the silk that helps you with not aging as you sleep or whatever. I don't know about any of that nonsense, but I know that I can't sleep with any light in the room. I need like complete darkness, but obviously we have sun, so I can't always sleep in darkness once the sun comes up. So I need something to block out the light. That's when I use this. What I love about this and why it's worth it to me and why I want to explain these pros because I don't think it would be worth it to everyone. If you're a really heavy sleeper, don't waste your money on this, but let me tell you why I love it. So I love that you can expand or make this smaller it, because it has Velcro. It just fits perfectly when I play, like line them up perfectly together. And then my number one favorite reason uh, is that it's like really plush. It's really nice. And then it has these little pillows for like under your eyes so it basically goes like here and so that's what they're saying basically like helps with your under eye wrinkles and things but that's what helps with blocking out the sun <laughs> for my eyes so it just like fits perfectly under your eyes so it helps to block out any little peaks that you could have to see the sun it really like protects your eyes from any like speck of light coming through and I know this sounds crazy but it's worth it to me I can't sleep unless I'm in like perfect conditions like no light no sound like it's kind of annoying it's very annoying actually but this helps me sleep never want to be without it I want to buy a second one to have at Michael's house my boyfriend's house because sometimes I forget it and I really regret it so Yes, I love this, and it's one of those things that wouldn't be worth it to a lot of people, but it's worth it to me. Okay, I recently tried these Living Proof PhD shampoo and conditioners that I got in a travel set, and I really love them. I think that they make my hair look and feel really, really nice. Like, I never really try shampoos, or especially conditioners, because my skin and my scalp are very sensitive to a lot of ingredients but especially silicones and living proof as far as i know doesn't use silicones in their product they i think have invented something that simulates silicones and that helps smooth like a silicone would but it's not silicone so 
everyone would have to like try it on their own or do their own research but for me and someone that's very sensitive to silicones clogging my pores these don't irritate me at all and they make my hair feel amazing so they have a holiday set with these the phd um styling cream and a mini dry shampoo at sephora so that's what i would say to pick up if you've been interested in these they also have a set with the full dry shampoo and a mini so whatever strikes your fancy but i really have been enjoying this okay my last section is skincare my favorite stuff so this is like a crazy obsession of mine this is the Laneige lip sleeping mask and you guys have heard me talk about this non-stop you're probably so annoyed <laughs> with me talking about it but it comes with a little lip brush that has its own little pouch so it's just like a silicone spatula for your lips that you spread it on and then oh my god it smells so good it's kind of like strawberries or like berry and it's just like a light pink color but it doesn't really show up as any color on your lips and what I love about this is that when you put it on at night you wake up in the morning and it's still on your lips and I toss and I turn and I have my stuffed animal on my face but it's still there in the morning it is amazing my lips love it I am definitely going to get my sister one of these for Christmas because she loves it and now that she's at school we can't share this one. So this is one of my standout products that I've discovered since diving into Korean beauty and I think everyone would really enjoy this. And they have a set with a little one of those and a little Laneige water sleeping mask which is their like standard, their standard, their like star product so definitely check that out okay one of my favorite I have two products by Basha and they're both like my favorites of each category so I have the luminizing black mask which is a cream mask that's super super black like black as night like it's so opaque and then it peels off you let it dry and then you peel it off and for me it just makes my skin have a really even tone to it it makes my skin feel smooth really really wonderful I just love how I don't know I just love peel off masks and I just love this one a lot for some reason I just really like it and then the Boshia makeup breakup cool cleansing oil is one of my favorite cleansers for removing my makeup so this is the ten dollar travel size and they have a bunch of like holiday kits and stuff that you can check out but it's just so good it removes every trace of makeup i absolutely love this stuff then i have two final products which are two tried and true skincare products i have the kiehl's midnight recovery concentrate which i have been using I don't even know since my sophomore year of college I think and Sephora within the past like six months I think started to carry Kiehl's and I love this stuff this is like my favorite serum ever it has the most relaxing scent to it it's just an oil consistency in a little uh, dropper and it just helps my skin feel calm and be calm and nourished and it keeps it even I don't know it's just a miracle product to me I love this stuff so much and will always recommend it to people looking for a great serum and then the first aid beauty facial radiance pads these are very very natural everyday toning but also exfoliating pads uh 60 come in a set and I believe that it's 30 dollars and I just always have these I love these so much I wanted to show you guys on my hand the YSL stain you can see it completely stained my hand I love those they're so so good I would also love to recommend any of the Sephora favorite sets they're an amazing way to try a bunch of products for a less expensive price just look at every product to make sure it's something you're actually interested in because sometimes I'm tempted to buy those but I only want one or two products and so it's just like you're wasting your money because you're paying more for only wanting two out of like 15 items so 
those are always great these are all products I love. I hope that if you try them based on my recommendation, you love them as well. But we're all really different and I understand if you don't like these products. But those are my personal recommendations. Some of my standby favorites. Absolutely love. Never want to be without products. And I can't wait to share with you guys what's in my cart and my wish list for the Sephora VIB sale. So let me know if you're going to be participating or if you're going to try to resist and stay on your no buys or low buys or whatever or if you're going to use it as an opportunity to buy gifts for other people or yourself so thank you so much for watching thank you Gwen for requesting this and for caring to hear my recommendations and my thoughts and I will see you guys really really soon bye